Welcome back to setting up Home Assistant with the Solax integration. Um, we're going to focus today on setting up the Wi-Fi dongle. So the Wi-Fi dongle is the part that um, connects Home Assistant to the inverter to retrieve all the information. Now, firstly, the Wi-Fi dongle has its own Wi-Fi access point network. You're going to have to connect to that to be able to configure the dongle. Now you may have a different connection to your inverter. You may have a LAN cable plugged into a LAN port. You may have a wave share device, or you may have a different dongle. Um, they come in guises of, of, of LAN, Wi-Fi, 4G, lots of different versions. This uh, tutorial is going to be focused on the Wi-Fi V3 dongle. So that's the black one. That's one of the easiest ways to uh, get uh, Home Assistant up and running and connected to your inverter. We're going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi dongle network. This is done by going to your system tray on a Windows machine and to your Wi-Fi icon. And if you just left click on that icon, you'll get a list of the SSIDs of the Wi-Fi networks that are available to connect to. So this does mean that you need to be in range of the Wi-Fi dongle and the inverter. I'm about 10 meters away and I have a good signal. You may, uh, it may be different for you depending on the thickness of your walls and uh, where the signal has to travel. So you can see my normal Wi-Fi network is called home and my dongle Wi-Fi network starts with Wi-Fi and then it has the registration number of the dongle after it. And that's the one that you're connecting to. All right, so click on that and then uh, click connect. Okay, so um, it says no internet, um, it's an open network. You're now connected to it. So you won't be connected to your normal Wi-Fi network now, which means that you won't have internet access to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle configuration page, you'll need um, one of either these two IP addresses. So some of the old dongles are on 5.8.8.8 and the newer dongles are on 192.168.10.10. Okay, so they're the possible IP addresses that uh, you'll have to try for your dongle. There were some rules about uh, what the serial number started with and which IP addresses um, it would be but um, I, I think Solax have scrapped that and as they update the dongles the IP address is changing anyway. So you may need to try both of those. I know that my dongle is a 192.168.10.10. So you can see on this uh, left hand side here I'm logging all the different IP addresses, usernames and passwords of everything that we're setting up. Um, this is a really good idea because you'll soon get very confused about which IP addresses belong where, what passwords you set um, etc etc. So it's a very good idea just to keep, I've got a notepad open here, keep a log of all the different settings and IP addresses so that you can refer to it um, at any time. Now I want you to open a web browser. Um, I'm using Microsoft Edge and you're going to type in the IP address of the dongle that um, was on the previous page. So it might be 5.8.8.8 or 192.168.10.10 and you'll come up with a, a username and password prompt. Now the username is um, admin and the password is the, I, uh, sorry, the registration number of the dongle. So in my case down here, it's SVKFJPQVHB. Um, okay, so you're going to type that in the password box. Now if you have an older dongle, sometimes it's not the registration number, it's just admin and admin. Okay, so the older dongles, admin and admin. The newer dongles, the username will be admin, the password will be the registration number of the dongle. And then you're just going to click connect and um, you should have this configuration page. Now your dongle may already be set up, so you don't have to go through that again. If you're connected to the Solax cloud, it's likely that the IP address will already be in there and it will already be connected to the network. So um, all you need to do is note down the IP address. You don't have to go through connecting it to your Wi-Fi network again. Firstly, we're going to do, go through a DHCP setup of the dongle. Um, DHCP just basically means that um, the dongle connects to your Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi router assigns it um, the necessary settings like the IP address um, and the subnet mask and the, the, and the gateway, etc. So on the DHCP configuration page, um, all you need to do is click Find AP, and this is the SSID of your home Wi-Fi network access point. So mine's called Home. You can see the signal strength is 96%. So I'm going to click on Home to fill that in. Now in the key, all you're going to do is type in your home Wi-Fi um, network key, 
So that's normally written on your router somewhere, or it's the same one that you use to connect mobile phones to the network, um, etc. So just type your Wi-Fi password in there. And all you need to do then is click Save. I don't want to save the password. And then it's going to uh, just take 15 seconds or so to, to reboot and obtain the IP address. So I'm just going to wait 15 seconds and then click return. OK, so back at the DHCP page, you can see that it's been assigned an IP address from your local subnet. And this one is 192.168.1.32. And I want you to take that and add it into your log of IP addresses because you'll need that later. And that's all there is to setting up the dongle and finding out which IP address it is. OK, a little bit more about the static IP setup. So this is an either or. You don't need to do both DHCP um, and static. Static IP is where um, you define what you want the IP address to be, which is outside your DHCP allocation pool, if that means anything to you. Um, and you can set the IP address to something that you want and it doesn't change. And this is actually the recommended method because you don't really want the IP address to keep changing. If it changes, Home Assistant will lose connection with the inverter and you'll have to set up the integration again. So this is the preferred, me preferred method, but not the easiest. You really should assign a static IP. So again, the access point I'm going to be using is the home access point. And uh, you're going to put the Wi-Fi key in, which is the uh, password for your wife, home Wi-Fi network router. And now you have to actually give it an IP address to use. And I'm going to assign IP address um, 112 onto the end of that. Now I know that DHCP does not assign IP addresses outside of 100. So 112 won't be used for anything else. In the subnet mask, um, you're going to most likely it's going to be 252550 um, and uh, the default gateway is the IP address of your router and I know that mine is 192.168.1.254 that's all there is that you need to set up to to define a static IP uh, your router may be different sometimes it's dot one and you'll have to find out what the IP address is of your router to be able to type it in there when you finish that click save and again It'll wait 15 seconds and then you can return to that configuration page just to check that the IP address is indeed being set up. So we turn there, click back to the static IP page and um, the other fields will have gone blank, the key, um, but the IP address is 192.168.1.112. Onto the system tab. Now this um, is just useful for finding out what firmware version your dongle is running on. And this one is on 3.001.02 here. Um, now it's important for Home Assistant that the, the version number of this is 3.004.03 or above. And you can see I've noted that in my, in my notepad. Uh, so this dongle is too old um, to be reliable on Home Assistant and it needs a firmware upgrade. So what you do is uh, contact Solax um, Technical Support and they will remotely upgrade your firmware to the latest version so it's the most reliable. Um, these other settings here, um, they're not for you to set. This is uh, to do with um, connecting to the servers in China um, because your dongle, as well as connecting with Home Assistant, will also be updating the Solax Cloud um, and all the configuration settings. Um, so we're not going to touch anything on here, it's just for reference so that you can find out the firmware version. So quickly summarising the configuration there, um, connect to the Wi-Fi dongle network. It's either going to be 5.8.8.8 or 192.168.10.10 depending on how old or new your dongle is. Um, if it's an old one, the password and username will be admin and admin. And if it's a newer one, the username and password will be admin and your registration number um, of the of the dongle. Um, configuring the dongle, you're not going to need to choose your SSID, which is the service set identifier of your home Wi-Fi network. 
and enter your Wi-Fi key, which is the password for your home Wi-Fi network. Um, you can choose the fixed IP or the DHCP. The DHCP will assign your IP address, but it may change. Um, and really you don't want it to change, so the fixed IP method is best. But you'll need to know how to allocate an IP address um, which the DHCP won't use. So it needs to be outside the DHCP pull range. Um, remember to record all the IP addresses and links in um, a document like I've got on the notepad on the side here because you'll easily forget them and uh, wonder what you need to put in later on in the process. And check the firmware version on the system tab is version 3.004.03 or above um, to make it most reliable with the Solax inverters and the Home Assistant. And remember to click Save when you've finished. And after you've clicked saved, we went and clicked the return um, link to make sure that the IP address um, configuration had been saved and was set up properly. When you've finished um, with the configuration of the Wi-Fi dongle, please remember to reconnect your Wi-Fi um, back to your home network. Otherwise, you won't have internet access and you'll wonder what has gone wrong. Okay, so make sure you connect it back to your home network when you've finished. This is a continuing guide, so please see the next video. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the videos, you can also buy me a coffee if you feel like it. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.